Welcome ladies and gentlemen to round 7 of the 4th season of the NASCAR X2 series. We're at Bristol Motor Speedway. Trouble for you is on the pole for the first time in the X2 series. Jay Taylor on the front row with him. Bonasaurus second most wins in series history in third. Your Dunn Sun 50 always a contender starting in fourth. to get a rolling. 15 cars in tonight's race at the last great Coliseum. It's Bristol, baby. Oh, man. It's Bristol. Let's do this now. Go, boys and girls. Bye, bye, bye. Let's go round and round and round. On your right side. Let's go, boys and girls. Two seconds ahead. We're on the bottom, three back. Trouble for you, leads lap one. And now Hard Pickle and Timac 11 with contact. Not sure if it was a bubble or not, but there was definitely contact between Hard Pickle and Timac 11. Each and every one of these drivers needed to finish in the top eight in order to advance to the feature race. We had 24 drivers in total trying to qualify for a 16 car feature. It was Mananger winning qualifying race A and it was Jay Taylor winning qualifying race B. And it appears Tyler Scott has spun out. He's going to drop to the 15th position. The number 78 car. And it looks like Cliff Price has spun out. Keep the momentum. Let's go. Cliff Price in the 55. Something happened to Jay Taylor. Jay Taylor's back in the 12th position. Time Mac 11 gets around driver 88. That was for position. Driver Punisher was on the back straightaway with a problem, and Time Mac 11 needed to get around him. Just barely did. They made some minor contact in the process. Timac 11 has been the victim of two different incidents on the racetrack. First, he got a bit of a bump from THR Hard Pickle. And then he had to dodge the Punisher drummer machine, number 38. Three back. Looking low. Punisher drummer picked up his very first X2 series victory earlier this season. Retribution, it looked like there. Time Mac 11 getting into pickle. Come on, buddy, gotta work for that money. Time Mac 11 fell all the way back to the 15th position. He has now driven his way up to the 8th spot. 
Driver 88 at one point was way back at 14th. He has followed Tymac in his footsteps, in his tire tracks, if you want to go that route. Driver 88 up in the ninth position. Winner of the qualifying A race, Mananger, is in seventh here in a battle with Dexter just in front of Time Act 11. It looked like they actually made some contact with each other maybe about a lap ago. They were far down towards the inside just, just moments ago. And Tyler Scott in the 78 car has spun around. He's on the, uh, he's on the back straightaway, hoping to get it all gathered up. THR Hard Pickle and Driver 88 have made severe contact. Big incident on the back straightaway, ladies and gentlemen. On the bottom, one back. Put on the low side. Looks like you've worn the right tire down. Put up high. You're good low. Right's all clear, bud. Look our head. Tyler Scott resumes. He's in the 13th position. The leader is 10 seconds ahead. He's going on the inside. That's it, little by little. Your done son 50 has taken the lead from Trouble for You. Something had to have happened to Trouble. Trouble was spun out on the back straightaway there. This is going to put Dexter up to 5th, Timehack up to 6th. Man Anger up to 7th and Driver 88 up to 8th, I believe. And you're clear. Right up top. Flat tire, flat tire. I told you. Timac 11 with a very slight bump and run there to Dexter to get around him for the fifth spot. Mananger is going to follow him through for P6. Three back, coming low. Here's THR Hard Pickle in the 12th spot. On the bottom, three back. Slow car on the bottom, it looked like it was driver 88. Three back, coming low. Car inside, just looking. Stay down. You can't stay out there on those tires any longer. They are high. It's coming low. On your left side. The tires are blowing. You wore it out. Robbing Bain has been doing a great job in that number five car. He is in third place. Seems to have had a mistake-free race so far here at Bristol, which is something that a lot of drivers cannot say they've done. All right, I want you to pit this time. Pit this lap. Check your inside. Low side's clear. The leader's 10 seconds ahead. Come on, buddy. Keep digging. We're going to get past. Closing on the bottom. It's too fast, man. Check up. Check up. Time act 11 appears to be pitting. We're ready for you, buddy. Be ready, guys. Let's hustle here. By the looks of the time, I'm going to take four tires, slight air pressure adjustment for the left sides, and he's going to take a, an extra couple of seconds to repair the front end damage that he suffered earlier. And he's going to get the number 24 machine rolling again. Bondosaurus is still on track. He has the race lead right now, but he is now going to give it up and come down pit road. Clear right. 
too bad. Clear now. Trouble for you has inherited the lead, but he's now on pit road. Larson Rocks is now going to take over the top spot. There's actually a lot of different fuel strategy taking place. And Tymac 11 with contact to Larson Rocks. Larson has spun. I can honestly say that that was uh, a very unintentional incident there between Larson Rocks and myself. I had no idea which direction he wanted me to go around him. And I picked the wrong lane. Timac 11 and Bondosaurus battling oh, for the 6th uh, and 7th positions. Bondosaurus made some contact with the outside wall. And Timac was, it looked like he was doing everything he could to stay off the 14 car. Some rocks again. He is in ninth place. He appears to be one lap down. Your leader right now is Robbing Bane in the five car. Looking very strong. Five car up in fifth place. On the Again, it was Mananger that won the qualifying A race earlier tonight in order to get into the feature. On the bottom, three back. Looks like you've worn the right tire down. Watch him here, he's coming up fast. Punisher Drummer is knocking on the back door of Timac, and Timac doesn't want to let him go by. Punisher Drummer has scored one lap down in ninth place. Coming on the high side. Clear high. Oh, and there's a collision here in turn three and four. Dexter made contact with your Dunson. Your Dunson, who was leading earlier in this race, has spun. Your Dunson drives the number six car. Oh, and, oh, and, and Dexter glitch hit the wall and collected man anger. And Tymac had nowhere to go. This is going to cause a huge stack up. And now there's a car retired from the incident. Robbing Bane has lapped everyone except for the top two drivers. Hendrick Motorsports sits in the top three positions. Your Dunson has recovered for fourth so far after spinning out just moments ago. And 
and man anger is done for the day it appears my side's clear wild night at bristol is all you can say the last great coliseum can be your friend or your foe and tonight for man anger i guess it was his foe Plenty of races to go in the X2 series here in Season 4, and with the unique point system, everyone still has a shot all the way down to the final race. Your top five finishes, your not, not your total amount of top five finishes, but your five highest points showings, your five best races, are what make up your total amount of points in the standings. It's basically your your it's an average towards the end that you're trying to improve but first you must race five races in the x2 series to achieve a full amount of points then after that you're working to get as many as many solid finishes as you can make sure that they get better and better you get one bonus point for leading a lap you get one bonus point for leading the most the most amount of points a driver can achieve in the standings is 130 if in the end there are two or more drivers with 130 points, the winner, the champion, will be the driver with the most victories. If this statistic is a tie as well, we will go down to the top fives, driver with the most top fives. Jay Taylor has made a pit stop, throbbing Bane in the number five car is your race leader. He's now going to do the same. Tymac 11 in second place. This may be his opportunity to lead a lap and get a bonus point. And just in front of him, driver 88 in the number 46 car makes contact with the outside wall. Tymac manages to get around him. Oh, and problems now for Tymac. He pops a right front tire. He's going to have to try to limp it around here to pit road. Tires are completely shredded. We need to switch these things out before you can go back out on the track. Let's get plenty of fuel in there. Let's go with four tires. Copy that? Alright, let's do this. In and out. Let's go to work, boys. Here we go. The 24 team's gonna go to work on Timex 24 machine. They change the flat right front, they throw it over the pit wall, no adjustments, except for some slight air pressure adjustments on the right side. Great stuff guys, in and out, it's all up to you now buddy. Okay, go get him, man. We're still on a Tymac had to be very careful exiting pit road there as there was a huge pack of cars on the outside. Contact here with some of the front runners, smoking Joe in fourth. Oh, and problems there. There was a somebody got into the back of someone. Carnage of Bristol. Dexter is your race leader, and he's trying very hard to to stretch it on fuel and tires. It appears. Great run for Smokin' Joe in the 15. He's in fourth place. Or was. Timac 11 is going to take over that spot. Tyler Scott very slow on the track down. 
at the inside. Watch your inside. Put on the left. Driver 88. Put on the low side. Gives way for some of the leaders here. Throbbing Vane is your race leader. Top two are on the lead lap. As of right now, Jay Taylor, your race leader, Throbbing Bane in second, Timac third, your Dunn Sun fourth. The leader is working lap 73. 74, rather, coming around to 75. Tyler Scott makes contact with Timac there, puts him up into the into the wall. He's got the fresh tires, so he's trying to get going as fast as he can. Larson rocks in sixth place, two laps down, running very strong tonight. It looks like Time Act let your Dunn son go. That was a battle for third and fourth. Timac 11 on pit road to make his final pit stop. It's going to be a two tire change and a splash of gas. Nice job, boys. Great he must have figured he wasn't going to make it to the end, so he figured having fresh rubber for as long as possible throughout the final run is key. Bondasaurus is in sixth right now. Timac just took over that spot from him. I told you those tires wouldn't last. They're on the outside. 
And problems now for Hard Pickle. He, I, I have no idea what happened there. He slowed right down. May have been going to pit road. I really have no idea. And Timac turned THR Hard Pickle into the wall. I, I, I have no idea what happened there. He slowed right down in front of me. And Bondosaurus is out with damage here. And it appears Punisher Drummer blew a tire and, and Bondosaurus got into him. Dexter 111 having a great race here sitting, sitting in third place. Part time NASCAR X2 series driver. And there was a huge amount of traffic there that Timac and Dexter both had to carefully get around and navigate through. And now as of right now, Jay Taylor is your race leader. Robbing Bain is in second. Timac 11 in third. Dexter in fourth. Your Dunson has just taken over the fourth spot from Dexter now. Somebody is spun on the back straight, or back stretch. Easy for me to say. And who knows when he's gonna un -ghost, so you gotta be very careful when there's a car spun up there. Again, no cautions in the X2 series or the B Cup series. Larson Rocks is in fifth. Your Dunson is on a charge here late in the race. He just got around. Timac 11. For third. But it's going to be Jay Taylor picking up his, I believe it is, his seventh career NASCAR X2 Series victory. The scoreboard is often false, ladies and gentlemen, on NASCAR 15, on PlayStation 3. Many glitches and many errors in the world of NASCAR 15 online racing. Jay Taylor was your race leader when the 100th lap was complete. Therefore, Throbbing Bane, who it, who it named the race winner, is not indeed the race winner. I believe Throbbing Bane picked up a second place finish in tonight's event. That, ladies and gentlemen, was round seven of the fourth season of the NASCAR X2 series. Let's take a look at the full results. Again, Jay Taylor is your race winner. Throbbing Bane in second. Your Dunn Sun third. Timac 11 fourth. And Larson Rocks fifth.